George Lyon, Liberal Democrats, MEP for Scotland. Scotland was at the centre of a cloning controversy, really, over the summer. You've now had the chance to raise that with the EU Commissioner. Um, what did he have to say? Well, I raised the predicament that the Innes family found themselves in with the discovery of cloned animals on, on their farm. Uh, and the real problem that we found in the UK where the rules uh, in terms of uh, uh, accessing the food chain are different in the UK from the rest of Europe. Uh, I raised this with the Commissioner at our meeting and asked him uh, to do all he could to ensure that we have a level playing field right across Europe, that the interpretation of the rules is the same. I specifically asked him if he'd been in discussions or his department had been in discussions with the Food Standards Agency in the UK and he confirmed that they have been. So uh, I pressed him to do everything he could in his power to make sure we get a, a fresh look at the regulations in, in the United Kingdom and bring them into line with the rest of Europe. I mean, where has this lack of clarity, this contradiction between the UK Food Standards Agency and the advice from the European Commission, where has that left Scotland's farmers? Well, it's left them pretty isolated in some ways because uh, no one, I don't think, before the Innes case came along, understood that uh, second and third generation animals were not allowed to get into the food chain as normal. There is, is no uh, health a safety issue in terms of, of, of being able to eat uh, either meat or milk from, from these animals. Uh, clearly, the, the, the original clone should never be allowed into the food chain because there's animal welfare issues there, and therefore the, I don't think anyone disagrees with that. So then his family found themselves with a huge number of stock that were suddenly uh, valueless. Uh, I mean, they would have been worth anywhere, I guess, up to about a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand pounds worth of stock, and suddenly they're written off because they can't get access to the food chain. And yet, uh, he could sell them into another country in Europe, and, and they could quite legitimately melt them, and the milk would go into the system. So we need some clarity around this. We need some consistency across the, 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 the European countries to make sure the single market works, and that every farmer is in the same boat. Do you have a view yourself on who's right on this? Is it the European Commission or is it the UK Food Standards Agency? Do you take a stance on that? Uh, in my view, I think the, the uh, European Commission is correct. I think uh, second, third generation uh, offspring should be allowed uh, to go into the food chain as normal. There are no risks at all. There is no issue of, of safety of, of the product, so they should be allowed in. The Parliament quite clearly has taken a strong view in this and, and a very tough view in the negotiations, uh, but I think on this particular issue that we're going to have to give some ground at some stage because uh, it's clear that uh, the Council and the Commission are not going to give way uh, because the cost benefit of trying to trace all these different animals of second, third, fourth generation would be disproportionate to the benefit to consumers. So we've got to get it resolved. So you say you've been asking for clarity from the European Commissioner. Do you think you're going to get that? I think uh, they are working with the Food Standards Agency in the UK and I hope to see uh, some movement there as well in the, in the not too distant future. We just have to make sure that everyone understands there are no food safety issues here at all. It's about making sure that the regulations across Europe are the same and that every farmer and every consumer uh, understands clearly what the rules are and that everyone's treated the exact same. I mean, do you feel that, that in the meeting he took on board your points, that, that call for clarity, on behalf of Scotland's Oh, Parliament? I think so, yeah. And, and the whole point of the Commission and the Council of Ministers' position in this is to try and introduce clarity across uh, the European Union to make sure that all member states are actually implementing the same regulations in, re in regard to cloned uh, animals and the offspring and, and access to the food chain.